double streaming is it's difficult. Hi! Sorry, my head's cut off. Okay, so this is my first time going live on YouTube, so, um, yeah, YouTube. Never done this before. So I am not sure how to control this at all. All right, we'll just roll with it. So this is the cart that I have been painting alongside uh, the high chair that I have as well. And I said I was going to be hand painting the, the beetles on there. So I've been drawing them and as you can see, I started painting as well. And I decided to experiment with how I wanted to paint it because my hand painting skills are rarely used at this miniature of a scale. So, um, yeah, so I said I was gonna go live, so here I am. My name is Megan. I am the owner and artist of Lolo Rose Design. I paint all kinds of things, walls. I like accent walls, I like furniture, anything I can really do something with. So I am challenging myself with doing these beautiful um, artwork here and I decided I wanted to paint everything like I wasn't gonna get a transfer for even the flowers I was gonna paint the flowers too so you can't really tell I'm just gonna put YouTube here and just get down you can see I got a lot of like pen marks and stuff that's because I've drawn everything out hang on Facebook let me let me fix ya is that better Oof. Okay, don't fall. You're sort of haphazardly um, placed. Okay, my head's cut off, but that's okay. I'm just gonna put it here. Because YouTube is down here and I need to get a better dual streaming thing. Anywho, um, you can kind of see now. I got pen marks everywhere. Um, I drew everything on first because let's be real. I don't know who can paint without lines, you know? So I first, um, because I was so not confident in my abilities, I had printed off some of these little guys and then I just used them as outlines and sort of like to see how they all would go. Cause I have a really big butterfly right here and you know, I wanted it to feel full. So hi, if you're popping on, um, comment i'm also on youtube going live for the first time ever so if you don't follow me on youtube you definitely should so anyways i've been using all diy paint and i really like the outlook outline look i think for children because this is meant to be used like i want it to be used and that's also why i went with hand painting it because then i could just layer and layer sealing like polyurethane on so um, yeah, I think I'm going to do the butterfly and I mean, you guys can help me out. So I have all DIY paint here. I don't have every single color, but I have like freaking most of them and I don't know who's watching right now, but, um, let me know what you think. I'm thinking about doing the butterfly. Maybe not. Maybe I'll do this, this beetle. Oh, there we go. Actually, you know what? This thing has wheels. I can move it. YouTube can see me. You're gonna see better, but I'm thinking about doing this beetle. Yeah, I think I'm convinced. I want him to be blues. Nothing but blues. So, um, all right. I think I'm gonna first go in with Sandy Blonde and my poor paint fell and like I didn't have the cap on all the way and so it came off and went everywhere it's sad it's sad I was upset but this is sandy blonde eh, it might be hard to open because I got paint all over it eh, one second ah, it just needs to be banged around a little bit there we go oof Bam, so I have a couple of little tiny brushes. Never thought 
I would ever need little tiny brushes. But I have teeny tiny ones. What do you guys think of my, this is like my corner. So far from like this flower over, it's, it's done in this little corner. David told me that I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna start painting until I finished at least the bucket area. And David was like, David's my husband. Um, he was like, it's a little bit complicated. I don't know if you want to do more. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. So, I'm thinking this dude needs to be sandy blonde. So if you missed any of my previous lives, I painted this cart, the base color, and the, um, oh, I should probably do it over here because you can see that. Actually, have the solution. Well, maybe. All right, let's set it right here. Yeah, that'll work. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I painted this live, this and its little high chair companion. Um, the green to the yellow, and I blended it on another live, which it looks fantastic, right? Like I think I was really weary of it, but I think it looks fantastic. Um, and I was nervous because as I was blending it, I was like, oh my gosh, this looks terrible. It's just going to look so bad, but it didn't, so that's good, huh? I'm thinking, so it's okay. I'm sort of painting over some of the line work I did, um, which is fine because I need to outline it with black anyways so the original thought process with the black was because some of these littler lines that i did of the um the freaking leaves there we go words um we're still showing through some of the lighter greens that i was trying to use um, and I just didn't want to continually layer and layer and layer to get that pure color. So I started outlining it with black, which I think turned out better. You know what? I can sit down slightly so that YouTube can see my face. There we go. Which I think ended up a little bit better, um, because I think I like that look. It's more, um, fun, cartoony, less serious if beetles and flowers and floral and fauna stuff could be serious so um blues that's what i said i wanted this guy to be blue all over mm. i think i'm going to use skeleton key skeleton key is sort of like a gray blue a gray blue. Okay, new, new brush. Set him down. Um, thinking. I'm thinking. This brush should be fine. This is a pretty big beetle. I think I like the skeleton key thing to do with the other leg. The skeleton key. Okay. 
Another thing I put on here was sunflowers and I put one right in the freaking like yellowest of yellow spot and I was like, well, it's a really good thing DIY paint has two other f yellows because that would be hard. What do you think about a little beetle guy? Ain't he cute? So this isn't the final color. DIY paint does um, change color. And I mean, when I change, when I say change color, like it dries pastel -y and it gets to its true color after you seal it. Fantasimal. Fantastica. I'm just dabbing some paint to get it darker. Make it pop. We want it to pop, right? Um, I'm trying to see if like, yeah, I could paint like this. I really need to get better. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking Hey Sailor, which I only have it in the big can, this big A can. DIY paint, if you don't know, DIY paint. I don't own the company. I sell it though out of my store, Mrs. Pinka Dot, which is located in Norfolk, Virginia. And I also have a link on my website if you would like to purchase it through there. I will warn you, with the recent reopening of everything, DIY paint is on like really bad back order. Um, so your shipment may take a while to get in, but all is well, it is worth it. It's highly pigmented, zero VOC paint. I think. And it's designed to go and adhere to almost anything without you having to sand it like that. So it's fantastic paint. And as you can see, it's so highly pigmented that most of these I only have to do one line, except for when I run out on my dang brush. It's fantastic paint because it, um, dries but it's not sealed so it doesn't have its own sealant mixed into the formula so if you hate it after like painting it and coming back to it and you're like ew you can reactivate it with water and just spray water on it and you can have your way with it You guys can kind of see my little beetle that I'm working on. He's so cute. Ah, uh, yes. So cute. Doing Hey Sailor on him now, which is like a, like a navy blue. Like a darker navy blue. I wish I could get you guys closer, but like, it's kind of hard to do that and paint at the same time. But you can kind of see and envision this craziness that's going on based off of this corner. And my little beetle, I'm so freaking, I love that little beetle. I think he's so cute. I chose beetles because I figured butterflies were too... Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Gender inclusive or gender exclusive um, to some people. So 
I chose the green and the yellow because I wanted something bright and happy. Um, and I was going to do butterflies, but then I thought, would my sister buy it because she has two boys? And I was like, she probably wouldn't because they like trucks and dinosaurs, but I didn't want to do trucks or dinosaurs. So the beetles were a good one, and of course I had to throw in a freaking butterfly. What kind of life would that be? And originally I wasn't going to do any of this like floral um, stuff, uh, but then I decided to throw it in because I had a lot of space that needed to be filled. Oh crap! Well. This thing has so many legs. Just kidding, it's just got four. I just forget that it has four legs. Oh. Yeah. So I sealed this first before drawing on it and painting on it because um, if I screwed up, I wanted to be able to wipe it off without worrying about wiping off the bottom. Um, yeah, I think I'm done with that. Maybe, what do you guys think? Should we throw in? Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking old 57, which I have just a teeny bitty bit about. I'm waiting on my own shipment of paint to come in. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to come in for a while. In the meantime... You guys can kind of see. Huh. So I went live on YouTube and it just told me that they stopped my stream because of copyright? Like they got notified? I don't know, man. Technology is whack. And that's coming from a 24 year old. Just saying. Just saying. What if we did his little leggies? Mm. A mermaid tail. Yeah. Mermaid tail is a very turquoise blue. And I can these leggies of his. I need some of that blue. The reason why I wanted to do in blue is because I feel like I'm trying to do this guy red. And these are green. And that's pink. So it's almost fitting. Do in blue. Well, now that YouTube is gone. Hi guys! Oh gosh. My leggies were falling asleep. I want to add texture of my beetle. You see my other little beetle? He's so cute. I like him. And all my floral and fauna. Pretty cute. So, I'm gonna let this little dude dry before I can do more to him. For now, I can paint 
as I find my colors that I seem to not be able to find. Oh, I think this is the right one. I think the other one, um, gypsy green. So this was Monet's garden. Uh, this is actually, nope, that was farm fresh. No, fancy farm girl. That's right. Um, we're going to do some floral, little fauna, I guess. Next to my ladybug slash, I don't know. I don't know why I ever doubted myself. I've got skills. I've been able to paint a straight, I was telling my friend that I've been able to paint a straight line most of my life. And it's not until recently that I'm like very confident in my line painting. This spot is very heavy in plants. Got one little moth. I have to avoid. What color should this moth be? Like right there. I know it's really hard. I wish I could like get a better tripod. like stabbed it into my paint. Should do this little moth while we still have the chance. I think I want to paint him. Apothecary. That is what you shall be. Man. What should his wings be? Something weird, right? Something crazy. Crazy like... No, I can't do red. Hint chip? It's like a green. Moth done. He 
was getting in my way. Oh, there it is. It's about to be like, really? Can't freaking keep track of anything, can I? All right, let's do this little sunflower because frankly, I'm, I'm painting over him on accident. So I am gonna use Queen Bee. Queen Bee, and we're gonna start painting this, um, this here sunflower. Let me think. Uh, I actually want this brush. Who would I be if I didn't paint a sunflower? Not me. So I love sunflowers. Watch out for this little guy's leg, this guy's antenna, I'm trying to remember, that's a, there we go, I see it now, I see where I was drawing, it's also the problem of this has been long enough I will do some recordings of me painting and then you can just watch at your leisure but I did want to go live because I promised I would and I like to be a person of my word if I say I'm gonna do it Let me see. One sec. Let me get my freaking. Okay, good. I just have to paint over his legs because I just. I just couldn't anymore. I just couldn't avoid them. It was too much. There we go. Alright, good boy.